What's up guys, Dave here. We have a Tabata series. This is episode number one and we're gonna do eight total in the series. Remember, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna go through eight different movements and we're gonna cycle through it four times. You're gonna have a minute break in between. Just make sure you have a water bottle and a towel because we are going to sweat. Before you get started, click right here so that you can get warmed up. Let's get this show on the road. The first movement that we're gonna do is going to be body weight squats. Here we go and go. Sink in those hips. We're gonna go for 20 seconds, get off to a nice good start, getting those legs nice and loose. Dropping low, sinking those hips. I'm gonna go from the side. Now, depending on your mobility, you're either gonna get all the way down or maybe to parallel or just as far as you can go works. Okay, finish strong. You got two seconds and done. You got a 10 second break. We got push ups next. So, as always, you have two options. You can go full pro uh, progression push up or you can go from your knees. Going from your knees is gonna look something like this, leading with the chest, pressing up. Nice and controlled. If you want that full progression, plank position, driving through those hands, get a nice controlled pace. Good job. You got five seconds, finish strong. And done, good job. Okay, hop to our feet, we're gonna do lunges. Now, I'm gonna stand in one spot. You're gonna step forward with your right leg or left leg, and we're gonna alternate. Ready? Here we go. Stepping forward and back. Nice and controlled. As you do this, keep that chest up tall. I'll demonstrate from the side. Same thing. Step and replace. Good. And done. Well done. Okay, we got Superman. So you're going to be on your stomach. Arms are going to be out in front of you. You got two options when doing this. First one is going to lift up, back down. Back up, back down. If you want to go full progression, it's legs and arms. Repeating that. It's a great movement for your lower back and mobility. One of my kryptonite movements here. Not very good at it. Good. Okay, hop to your feet. Excuse me, you're going to stand on the mat. We're going to do glute bridges. So, on your back, you're going to push through your heels, lifting your hips up and back down. Okay, we're gonna rep this out. We're not gonna hold it. Shoulders are staying on the mat. You can push through your heels. If you ever wanna progress this, you can go single leg. For the sake of this, we're keeping both heels down. We're driving up. Good work, well done. Okay, from there we got the plank shoulder tap. So staying on the ground, push up, plank position. Shoulders directly above your wrists. You're hanging out here. You're gonna tap shoulders. You could tap your elbows, or you could go hand to hand. Works just fine. Back and forth. Good. And if you want to go elbow to elbow, that works too. And then shoulder to shoulder. Keep pushing, keep pushing, you got this. And we're gonna stand up. Quick 10 seconds, we're gonna do what we call a squat hold. So we're dropping down, keeping that chest up nice and high, sinking those hips. Okay, it's like doing a wall sit without the wall. Do your best to try to get to parallel, sinking those hips. Demonstrate from the front, dropping down. And then the last thing we're gonna do in this cycle is gonna be a toe touch. So you're gonna be on your back and we're gonna gauge your midsection. So laying flat, I'm gonna give you two options. You can bend your knees, touch your knees or all the way up, touch your toes. And you're forcing that belly button into the ground. Push it down into the ground. Touch your toes or touch your knees. If you can, you can even touch your shins. I care more about engaging that core. Okay, that's one cycle. Catch your breath, grab a drink. We're gonna do it again three more times. It's good to be back. This is my first workout, first video here in over a year. So I might be a little off right now. If that's the case, bear with me. Once again, this series, we're gonna be filming eight episodes, or eight workouts, I should say. And we're gonna do two a week. The next series, we're gonna bump it up to three a week. So we're gonna kinda build on this, we're gonna pick it up. Got a variety of different 
uh, workout and movements um, and time formats. So it's gonna be a little bit different than what you've done in the past, some of the same stuff, but for the most part, we're gonna start including dumbbells, kettlebells, uh, we'll have bands, and then obviously we'll do a lot of different body weight stuff, but different time formats will allow us to break up the monotony, but still get good workouts. Okay, back to our feet. You got five seconds. We got squats. This is round two of four. Let's pick up the pace here and let's do this. Sink in those hips. Dropping low. Good. With Tabata style training, that 20 seconds, the key is to go as fast and under control as you can to get that heart rate elevated. Now, obviously we're not biking or running, it's more you know, movement based. So do the best you can, but make sure that you are challenging yourself. Back to the mat, we got push-ups. Plank position, here we go. If you wanna do full progression, lead with that chest. If you wanna do from your knees, totally fine as well. Lead with that chest. Make sure you bring the hips with you. What I don't wanna see is what we call the bird feeder, which looks like this. Try to avoid that. Okay, finish strong and done, good. Okay, lunges again. Stationary, one spot. We're gonna step forward, drive through that leg and come back to that standing position. Here we go. I'm gonna stand the mat here. I'm alternating, keeping that chest high. Now, hands can go on the hips, totally fine or to engage your midsection a little bit more, hands will go above your head. Good job. And done. Okay, we're to the mat. We have Superman's. The most challenging movement there is. Arms out, first progression, lifting the arms. If you wanna do both, slight pause. Good job. All the way to the end. Good work. Okay, stand your back, or flip into our back. We have the glute bridges. Two legs, heels down, driving up, squeeze the glutes, back down. As time goes on, you can also use a band place around your waist to give you some form of resistance to make it more challenging. Other than that, we're moving. Tap and go. Good. Okay, plank shoulder tap. Let's go fast on this one. If you have to go from your knees, totally fine. Kind of get on all fours or alternating hand to hand, elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder, or the plank. And let's go. Tap and go. You got this, spread your feet to get a better base if you need it to keep those hips still. Good, well done. We got squat holds. It's a perfect day to do this right now. The weather's beautiful here in Phoenix. Dropping down, chest up, I'm looking at you. Making sure you get a little bit lower. You got this. Well done. If you've done these boot camp classes with me in the past, you know there's gonna be a word of the day. Most likely at the end, you have to let me know that you completed it. Back to the ground, toe touches, ankle touches, or knee touches. Remember, driving that belly button to the ground and crunching. Just get a good pace. Push yourself. We get some water after this. Good. Okay, catch your breath, grab a drink. Good job so far, we're halfway through. Okay, we got about 40 seconds. Always remember, you need to go at your pace. It's you competing against you. Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'll guide you through. All of these workouts are always guided workouts. I don't wanna put something up that 
you're supposed to just follow. I want to be able to quasi coach you through it, give you progressions, regressions, make it easier, make it uh, more challenging, depending on where you are at. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm getting back into it as well, but we're gonna have a ton more videos for a very long time. So get ready for that. And uh, just remember, do the best you can, questions and comments, leave them in the comment section so that I can make adjustments if need be. We're getting started, here we go. Squats, sinking those hips. I tried to give you this backdrop with the pool. I told you someday I'll jump in. Today's not the day because there's a net over it. Good, you got five seconds. Push, push to the end and done, great work. We got push-ups. Remember, we got a bunch of push-up variations today, just a standard push-up. I'm gonna do the full progression. I'm gonna try to get as many as I can in that 20 seconds. Good, and done. Well done, stay on the mat. All right, excuse me, stand up, we got the lunges. I'm gonna face you this time. We're gonna step and replace, let's go. Good work, I see what you're doing, keep pushing. If you have any ankle, hip, or knee issues, you can always do a reverse lunge, catch your breath. Makes it a little bit easier. We can do that next set. Okay, from there, we have our supermans on our belly. Here we go, arms up. Good pause, good. All the way to the end. Well done. Okay, we got the glute bridges on our back. Heels down, pushing through the heels. Tap and go. It's gonna be hamstrings, working that posterior chain. Good job. Finish it, good. Okay, we got the plank shoulder taps. Push up plank position. I'm gonna go elbow to elbow here as quick as I can go. Always spread your feet to get a good base. We wanna keep the hips still versus too much swaying as we lift our arms up. So, hips stay still, tap and go. You're moving. Good job. And done. Okay, we got squat hold. And then we're gonna finish with the toe touch. Chest up, sink those hips. Let's do it. Good. If you ever get too tired, come back up, shake the legs, go back down. It's totally cool. And done, good, okay, to our back. Last movement here of this cycle and we're gonna finish strong with one more to go. Okay, feet up, and here we go. Tap your shins if you need to, knees, or if you can, get your toes, good. Good work, should wear sunglasses here. Get the sun right in my eyes. Grab a drink, catch your breath. Good job. We have one more to go. If you haven't already, when we're done with this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And once again, <clears throat> I want you to tell me where you're working out, where you're from. I've had, I mean, geez, I remember we've had people from Brazil, Peru, Obviously throughout the United States, it's had some England. So we have you guys from all over, which is pretty awesome to see. So let me know where you're working out. Right now I'm here in Phoenix, obviously, and it's evening. 
Um, so it's a nice, nice time of the day to get this workout in. So let me know that, subscribe, and then uh, that way you won't miss any new workout that is coming your way. <clears throat> we got 15 seconds. This is our last cycle. We got eight movements. You're gonna go as hard as you can here, and then the rest of the day is yours. So here we go. We're starting out body weight squats, chest stays high. Let's do it. Good pace. I can tell you as you get older, definitely have to work on some mobility and some movement. Maybe that's some things I'll start filming if that's something you guys are interested in. So that we can work on that when we're not working out. Good, catch your breath. We got push-ups next. Driving by pushing those hands. Spread your fingertips, push them into the ground. Here we go. Lead with that chest and get a good pace. If you have to go from your knees, that works too. Good work. And done, good. Well done. Okay, we got some standing stationary lunges. I'm gonna go hands on the hips. Let's do it. Step, replace, and alternate. Great work. Five seconds to go. And done. Okay, Superman's on that belly. Let's do it. Up and back down. Great work. You're not stopping until the end. Good. Okay, we got glute bridges. Four more to go. Pushing through the heels. Lifting the hips up, squeeze the glutes. Try not to overextend. You're just getting to where you feel hamstrings and the glutes activating. It's a great movement. Finish it. Good job. Okay. Plank shoulder tap. Push up plank position. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the glutes, and tap. All of the workouts here are between 20 and 30 minutes. There will be nothing more, nothing less. Technically, this is right around 20. So, nice and quick, efficient. We got squat holds. Quick, efficient workouts that you can do anywhere. Chest stays high. Something I gotta work on. Staying down. Good work, you got five seconds and we're gonna do some finish with core toe touches. Great work. All right, saving the best for last. And we're up. Here we go. Shins if you need to, or all the way up. Let's tap those toes. All the way to the end. Well done. This was awesome. First workout in a while. Remember, this is an eight part series. We'll have seven more workouts and then the sky's the limit. We're gonna have a ton. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Comment below and don't forget the word of the day. Two words, soccer ball. Soccer ball is the word of the day. Have a good one. Thank you.